Hello everyone. This little script is not really general purpose. It is somewhat useful in that we have our cantilever. We have a point load somewhere. But the way I designed this was that my beam is changing shape in response to the placement of the point load. So as the point load moves out, I have more and more um, an extension of this tapered part. So that's a little clumsy. I don't know if I want to fix that. But the beam depth at the wall, I could do this in inches, which is the way we design things, actually. Nobody would say feet, I think. Um, the beam depth, too, is the end of the taper. That again is in inches and then I just left it prismatic after that point. The width is in inches. Uh, I probably should have made that increments of two. Notice the other ones are increments of two, uh, which is kind of sweet. But then it's kind of fun to let the robot figure out the moments and the section modulus. So what I've done here is shown you for various cuts uh, all I did was just get the height of this uh, section, the, the, the height of the beam. And the section modulus, of course, is width times height squared over 6. The tricky thing for students is, at least in the United States, is that our moment is typically in feet and pounds and our section is typically is in inches. And what we want is inches and pounds for stress. That's really what we're looking at. So a little bit of conversion, I can help you with all that if you're interested. But um, as we play with the load, we see the stress going up. As we play with the placement of the load, uh, where my cut is is variable and um, I could play with the I could kind of I don't want to say optimize but I could certainly think about this keeping the stress at some reasonable level and again this is going to be tension or compression here compression is not a problem for uh, concrete but tension of course is all right